I'm back with another triggering topic. Now, I've had about four different men leave comments on my TikTok today about this, and they were saying how black women have been bashing black men, black women are disloyal and the enemy, and black women are bedwinches for white zaddy and things like that. And I was thinking if that's really the case, which it isn't, then why do people use our men's disloyalty as an insult towards us? Or why do black men lust after the white quote unquote zaddy's daughters and want their DNA to dilute their black features? Or they hate blackness and they prefer foreign women who look nothing like them were the women in their community. They scream these things to anyone who will listen, how every race is better than the women who birthed them. Also, why do black men have zero fear in approaching a black woman and thinking that he may be rejected because she doesn't date black men? However, I think all black women, when they see a black man that is attractive or even famous black men, they wonder if they date or like black women. Y'all don't find it strange that the stereotypes that the manosphere men try to put off on black women actually apply to them? Comment down below. This female is really going hard in the paint. Um, she really wants to be like, I, you know, I don't know if she knows about the TikToker, but she wants to be like uh, the next day in the day, 1987, a bitch. I absolutely hate. Okay. All right. I, I'm not even going to lie about it. This shit. I hate it because it's like a basic bitch with a, a, a niggerish tone and shit. And, you know, just looking to afflict the emotional damage because she wants you to engage and shit. And I want to tell you that you fucking black women have been fucking dragging us for like, uh, what, like over four decades now? You know, and especially since the 80s when Oprah Winfrey took uh, black female misanthropy mis mainstream, okay? You've taken a ball and run with that shit like it's the fucking Super Bowl or something, okay? Now, I don't give a fuck. You guys have been making backroom deals with Zaddy and shit since the 60s. Okay? Since Zaddy and, and their agents and shit. And you've been agents, and agents provocateur amongst us. Okay? So, be that as it may. You know, you got generational misandry. You know, you got like uh, agents of chaos in your own fucking house laying in a bed with you and shit. What, what would you have us do? Okay, what would you have us doing shit while you sitting up here trying to, uh, you know, trying to fuck with somebody and shit, okay? Trying to bully people and shit. That's what you guys do, by and large. That's why you have a shitty reputation. It's, it's abrasive and shit and masculine. Okay, do you ever think about that? Do you even give a fuck about that? I doubt it and shit. All you care about is your fucking hair and nails and shit and, and, and getting free meals and, uh, um, you know, uh, getting the bag and a bunch of other shit that don't make no fucking sense. This sounds like some children are talking and shit. Okay? And furthermore, shit, uh, I don't know why you women keep talking about... You, every time you talk about interracial dating, you're talking exclusively about the white woman that you envy. Okay? You envy the white woman and shit because you wear her hair on your fucking head and shit. You guys always walk around with a white woman disguise on and shit. Okay? You even wear makeup trying to... Uh, look like white women and shit. You know, you want to see an example of that and shit? A hilarious example of that. You can go look at an old Eddie Murphy movie called Vampire in Brooklyn and go look at Angela Bassett makeup in that fucking movie and shit and, and have a laugh. Okay, I did. I did. Okay. But, you know, getting off that, you know, that little sidebar. Um, you know, I just get, we get tired of this shit every day. You have to... Uh, get your ass online and make a bitchy ass video all the time and shit. Do you ask, do you fucking guys ever take a break? Even when you're traveling, you're making bitchy videos and shit. You want somebody to think you're living your best life, but you're just going overseas. You're going out on the world stage, making an ass of yourself, looking like a fucking fool and shit. You know, once you knew that you could monetize your box and shit, you're using that shit to go places that we never could go or places that you kept us out of and shit. When you filed, uh, you know, erroneous child child support uh, claims on us and shit, and we got our driver's license taken, uh, passport taken out. Why are you so worried about it anyway and shit? Okay, you know, I'm sure there's a simp out there, there's a dumbass nigga that's gonna ruin his life by getting you, you know, laying in the bed with you, you know, going raw on you. Okay, your biological weapon and shit. I don't know what to tell you and shit, but. I know you got a problem with black men doing anything. You want to restrain them. You want to restrict them. They're supposed to be sitting in that empty locker room that is the sexual marketplace in our community 
waiting for you to ring that bell and shit and get them off the bench so they can be a stepdaddy to your kids by a fucking criminal, okay, a reprobating shit, or Zaddy's fucking kids, okay, you worried about that shit, but you guys are always looking for, for, for the white man too, you look for the white man as much as a black man look for the supposed white woman, <clears throat> and you never, up until recently, talked about Asian women or Latin women, you know, or any uh, South uh, African women, not particularly South Africans, because they're fucked up, <clears throat> you know, they got that uh, feminist mindset and shit now, that, uh, you know, that fucking capitalist mindset that's over the edge and shit, you, you can't build nothing with you, you don't even want to take care of your children, you fuck your kids up for generations, and then you sit up and blame us, talking about we wasn't in the home when you ran us out of the home, and then you weaponize your own kids' deaths, so spe specifically your sons, okay, you got the nerd to have your ass on TV with some Ambulance chased the lawyer, crying crocodile tears, looking for a check. All right, George Floyd's sister said she forgave the uh, uh, Derek Chauvin for kneeling on his neck and murdering him on the world stage. Can't beat that with a stick, can you? Nor can you explain or what you want to, or would I even be stupid enough to try to broach that suspect with an infant? All right, that's your mindset. All right, this revolution will be televised. All right, and ain't shit you can do about it because you guys gonna be sitting in the fucking house with a bunch of cats and shit, you know, watching your watching your phone, all right, twerking on that bitch, you know, with your wig on, all right, your baby hair weave and some fishnet stockings and shit, you know, with your thought pocket out. Now people are tired of that shit. They want a fucking we want a fair chance and shit. You can't get it here in this the the colonies, the slave quarters with you bitches, okay. We're tired of hearing your fucking opinion, okay? We don't want to hear it. Okay, you blab to your, each other, okay? Just leave us out of it. I wish there was some way to filter you bitches out. And I wouldn't have to make these goddamn videos anymore and shit. Okay? You sound like a bust down. You sound like a basic bitch. Nobody wants a female that acts like a man. Okay? And no straight, cisgender, black man wants to be in a relationship with a man. Like some bitch, she wearing his, his fucking boxes and shit. Okay, she acting like a nigga. She walking around, you know, just with, a, with her ass out because she got a pee sleeve. That's all she bring in the house and shit. She don't even bring any good counsel or nothing or comfort. You know, you can't trust her alone with your kids. You know, and if she kick you out of the house, she gonna fuck your kids up because she out there looking for the next dick to sit on and shit, okay? All right? Black men have been taught to uh, eat out the garbage can for long enough and it's time for us to get out of that Petri dish with that Tupperware lid on it, okay? That is my analogy for, you know, uh, interpersonal, social, and, and, you know, dating in the black community and shit. And anything else, God damn it, okay? Anything else, you need to take a look in the mirror at yourself, okay? You Maybe you'll find the answers to your shitty-ass questions in there. And please, talk to us. My brothers, talk to us and tell us what we doing? I like. I, I want to know. I want to listen. I listen. Tell tell me so I can tell the rest of us. So I can tell my sisters what we need to fix. If you don't talk to us, how are we gonna know? Like I, I need you to really be genuine about it. Like just take some time to think about it and reply to this. I want to know what can we do. To fix this, because you are for me, I am for you. You are the king and I am the queen. I am your helpmate. I was made for you. I'm not supposed to be your enemy. You know what I mean? We're together. We're a team. So respectfully, I want to know what is the issue. And I want it to be fixed. Start with me. Please tell me how I can fix it. What I need to do. So I can let the rest of them know what we got.